Before I started using an access database, I used to store the phone numbers of my suppliers in various locations, in an address book containing supplier phone numbers, in product information files in a file cabinet, and in a ledger containing order information. Every time a supplier's phone number changed, I had to update that information in all three places, and when I forgot to update it everywhere or made an error, I ended up with conflicting data that I had to spend time sorting out. Now I'm using an access database, so each of my supplier's phone numbers is stored just once. When I update a supplier's phone number, I only have to change it in one place, and it is automatically updated wherever I use it in the database. Inside my database file, there are various database objects that help me with various data management tasks. I use tables to store my data. A table has fields, each of which contains a piece of data that describes one aspect of the subject of that table. Taken together, these fields contain all the information I have about that subject. For instance, my customer's table has a field that stores the name of the company the customer works for. Even though the tables contain my data, I don't usually use the tables directly. Instead, I use other database objects to help me do things with my data. I use queries to find, retrieve, and combine data. Forms to view, enter, and edit data. and reports to analyze data or to format or print data in a specific layout. I use one table for each type of information that I track. For example, I have separate tables that store data about customers, products, and orders. When I want to bring the data from multiple tables together in a query, form, or report, I use relationships that I have set up between the tables. A relationship defines how fields from one table relate to fields in another table. When I use the tables together, say, in a query, Access knows how to combine the data. For example, in this new query, I can use fields from both of these tables. And Access will know how the data fits together. I use forms to easily view, enter, and change data one row at a time. Forms are usually a better way to do these things than using tables or queries by themselves, because I can build a form to look and behave just about any way I want. That way, when other people in the office use the database, I have more control over what they can and cannot do with the data. I can also use a form to perform other actions, such as getting data from another application. I use a report when I want to quickly analyze my data or present my data in a certain way. For example, I sometimes send a business partner a report that groups sales data by product category, calculates total sales for each category, and then presents that information in a chart. I have another report that shows customer address information, formatted for printing as a directory. If I want to see how the tables in a database are related, I can open the Relationships window. In this database, I have a lot of relationships defined, which can make the Relationships window seem a little bit overwhelming. If I want, I can show and hide the tables in the Relationships window without changing the underlying relationships, so I can focus on looking at just a few tables and their relationships at a time. There are other ways to see how tables and other database objects work together. This can be very important when I need to make a change to the structure of my database, and even more important if someone else does it for me. One way to get a look at how the objects in a database work together is by using the Database Documenter. The Documenter lets me select database objects that I want information about and specify what information I want. After I choose my options, the database documenter creates a report to my specifications. I can click the report to zoom in and out. And, as with any report, I can print it or send it to someone in an email message. This comes in very handy when someone wants to make a change to the structure of my database. The database documenter report helps them understand what effects any changes to the database structure will have. Opening tables in Design View is another way to learn details about the structure of a database. In Design View, I can see the detailed settings and properties for each field in a table, and see whether the table uses any lookup fields, 
fields that use queries to extract data from other tables. This information is important to know when I want to create queries, forms, or reports. I can also open other objects in Design View to find out more about them and how they work. For example, if I open a query in Design View, I can see what tables it uses, what fields it has, and also look at its other properties. I can do the same with forms and with reports. There's one more important part of an access database, the navigation pane. I use the navigation pane to work with my database objects, but it can also reveal a lot about the structure of a database. There's a lot to know about the navigation pane, which is new in Access 2007. I won't talk about it here. There's a demo about the navigation pane available in Access Help and on Office Online. And remember, if you have any questions, help is right here.